everyone, I'm gonna be talking with you about a 3D printing Kickstarter campaign, but hold on, hold on. It's not for a 3D printer, it's actually for a set of STL files that have just blown me away. I'm not being paid for this or anything like this. They didn't ask me to make a video on this. I reached out to them because I was so excited about this Kickstarter campaign and project that they're producing that I wanted to share it with you all. And it's for a 3D printable gaming table, specifically designed for all of you out there that like to play different card games or games with miniature files. I'm not exactly the core demographic for the third. There are so many other amazing YouTube channels that actively play campaigns and do all sorts of builds with these things. I just love 3D printing all of the amazing files that a lot of these communities produce. And when I saw this, I have ulterior motives for this 3D printable table. I wanted a 3D printable table here for my studio for like a little lounge area that I'm looking at putting together. But I wanted to be able to show off 3D printing in like every aspect of these spaces here. And this is a completely modular table and I'm so excited to share it with you all. So the makers of this Kickstarter campaign, Gutshot Games, actually ended up tagging me on Twitter. They were reaching out to Elgu asking about restocking of the Neptune 3 Pro and they had a link to their Kickstarter campaign and this snoopy little person that I am decided to click on that link and check out what that was and ignore the question that they had all together about the Neptune 3 Pro and was just blown away by what I was seeing in their video. This is a completely 3D printable table that you can basically build to whatever size that you need. It's completely modular. It's gonna fit on smaller print beds, which is just amazing for basically everyone out there. So was already very excited about this. So even before I finished looking over the entire Kickstarter campaign, I immediately jumped on there and backed the campaign. They have two campaign options at the moment. One is just for the core files that you can run off in 3D print. And the other is a merchant tier if you wanted to have access to actually print and sell those. So I decided to do that. I ended up backing the merchant tier. I don't know if I'm actually gonna go and do that. It will require a good number of print jobs and the amount of filament and print times, but I figured, hey, why not throw some extra dollars towards these folks here that are making this amazing project and see if we can further get the Kickstarter goals over their finish lines, which have just already like superseded or succeeded well beyond what they, I think they had initially planned for because they have so many other levels that have already been unlocked thanks to people finding out about this and backing the campaign. So I ended up actually reaching out to them over on Twitter via DMs and asking if they had any access to the prototype files that I could access in 3D print and show off for you all here. And they were kind enough to send over a hand full of files for me to do some test prints on, on a variety of different machines. So I ended up printing a handful of these over on my three different Bamboo Lab 3D printers, as well as my AnchorMake M5. I was gonna print some of these on the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro, but this was all the way back at the studio. And I ended up just printing these in one evening overnight and was able to get these all printed up so that I could show them off to you here. And before I show off those prints, let me just state a few other amazing things that I'm loving about this campaign and why I was so eager to back it and why I'm just making this video for you all. One, uh, it prints on, again, any print bed that is at least up to 210 millimeters in size. So it's basically every ender level 3D printer and up. You also can print all of these completely support free, which is just amazing. They all also interlock and just everything sort of seamlessly assembles together. So you're not really gonna need to go off and be gluing anything down as far as I'm aware. It's also gonna be wildly customizable. So they have a number of campaign unlocks that they've already gone through that were gonna allow you to basically add on uh, different, uh, different sets of tops and corner pieces and legs, different design options as they're progressing through this. There's even a sci-fi option, which they haven't fully specced out or shown any images of, but I'm, that's the one that I'm really excited for. But they also have some really cool things like free printable files that you can run off and print that are available over on printable. So if you wanted to see one of the files for yourself, like the dice tower, you can actually run off and print one of those for yourself today. I'll also include some images here on screen where they've included some basic time estimates and material estimates on how much material and how long it's gonna actually take you to print 
all of the objects to build one of these tables for your campaign. Yeah, it's if you have one printer, this is gonna take you a good bit of time, but it's entirely doable and something that you're gonna make and be customized to your own specific needs, which I'm in love with. Now, if you have something like the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon or the P1P or the Anchor Make M5, you will be able to crank out these parts a good bit faster than what you'd have here with your typical style of bed slinger. But what I'm so far loving with these isn't just the print quality, is these little bed frames here. So this is just the, the lower frame. So I don't have any of the top pieces. They sent over one of the frames, some of the legs, uh, some of the attachment pieces, the connection pieces, and then obviously the dice tower here. But what I'm loving immediately that I saw with this that I don't think I quite recognized in the video is that these are entirely stackable and they interlock with each other. So they can nicely be organized. I think they showed being put away in a bin, which I thought was really cool. So these just all nicely stacked together, everything printed very cleanly here. And then they, again, all more or less interlock together here, where all these parts can just more or less interlock together here. And then you have the little locking mechanisms that you can run off and print. Everything that I printed was in PLA. And then you can just stick these on and lock them in place. This is so satisfying and fun to just snap together and build this little tabletop here. So I've just printed off four of these squares along with the connection pieces here, the locking joints. And it's a really nice solid surface that I could then start building my tabletops directly on top of. And then you can see here on this base how there's a lot of little other pieces here that look like they're gonna interlock with this little grid here. But here are the 3D printable legs that I've gone off and printed. And there's little indicators here of where you actually line up with these other little notches. And then you can twist them into place here. I probably need to work on the tolerances of that uh, on my end, but this is, oh yeah, that one goes in very well. And then once you've got everything assembled, you can just turn it over. And we're now ready for the tabletop pieces to be starting to be printed and assembled here, I guess once the campaign fully finishes. I am so utterly excited about this. And here's uh, obviously the dice tower. But if you're interested in more information about this Kickstarter campaign, you can find links to that down below. There's just a handful of days left. Again, I am not being paid for this. They didn't ask me to make this video. I'm just extremely excited about this because again, it's a it's a 3D printable, entirely 3D printable, support-free modular table that I'm gonna be able to run off in 3D print. And I also asked them yesterday evening, I said, man, it would be really cool if you had something that would allow people to actually end up customizing their own options and building their own options for the table here. And they've added a new tier that if once that's reached, you'll be able to have some blank panels that you can run off and re mix for yourself. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already considered joining my Patreon, thank you to all my Patreon members for all of your continued support. But uh, yeah, this was just a really quick one. I just wanted to share the news on this in case you haven't already heard of it because I'm excited for it and you will 1000% see more on this once the campaign fully ends and I have all of the files in hand and can run off and start 3D printing this massive table for my shop here. And thanks so much for watching all. I'll see you next time.